Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. So I've tried to stay out of the various online discussions about whether a builder using CNC gear is a true guitar maker. Mostly because no one should care what my viewpoints are. And childish banter like that is really more like a monkey shit fight at the zoo. Um, it's not legitimate dialogue that craftsmen and artists have. So here at Texas Toast Guitars, we've chosen to sidestep the modern practices of computer numerically controlled machines in favor for the old school tools and techniques. Now, this decision should in no way be considered an indictment of those builders who, you know, use the contemporary tooling. Um, we've met lots of builders, large builders, and small builders, that is to say, large shops and small shops. We met big guys and little guys too. Um, and they embrace those practices. And we appreciate all the instruments that they make, and we consider those guys our friends. Um, you know, and the other thing is, there's nothing that's uh, as hypnotizing to me uh, as the choreography that is a CNC machine in action. I think it's really neat. Now, if you've been paying attention, you'll have noticed that up until now, I've not compared CNC to handmade. Um, the fact of the matter is uh, that in this shop, we have strived to eliminate as many manual steps as we can. Uh, we've chosen to replace those manual steps with specific machines that are guided by a human's hand. And many of these machines are, uh, you know, specific to guitar building. Um, you know, we've combed through old photographs and we've reverse engineered tools from those. Uh, we've bought vintage equipment and, uh, you know, <clears throat> everything that we do here in this shop should look very familiar to a factory worker in the late 50s. Of course, collectively, these unitasking machines have a larger footprint than a multitasking CNC machine, but that's what we're into. Um, you know, we love the whole gizmo-ness of it all and uh, the apparatus. Uh, you know, I think what it really boils down to is <clears throat> we love the process as much as we do the end result. And of course, we want to let our customer base know that we've chosen this path. Hell, I want to make a big deal out of it uh, as much for aesthetic and marketing reasons as anything else. So let's not go down the rabbit hole of handmade versus CNC. Um, you know, we don't make any exaggerated statements like using anything but your fingernails to create guitars isn't handmade or insinuating that you have to grow your own tree to exploit the tone. Um, that kind of hyperbole just makes you sound stupid and it's every bit as asinine as Ford versus Chevy or Coke versus Pepsi or 9mm versus 45. So I don't want to insult my friends in the industry who make guitars with the aid of computers by saying they're not guitar makers. And it's an affront to me personally if you think that the only reason my shop doesn't have a CNC machine is because I'm too cheap to buy one. I tell you what, I'll put my receipts up against anyone's CNC machine and we'll see who spent more money. You know, our good friend Brain Surgery Kevin is a scientific instrument maker. He completed an 8,000 hour apprentice program for, to be a tool and die maker before many of you guys were born. Um, he's been in this trade for over 45 years and he currently makes fixtures and gizmos that go to the South Pole or get launched into space uh, in support of the scientific community. He uses a CNC machine that would make most guitar makers who use CNC machines jizz in their pants. It can hold tolerances to like two ten thousandths. And he still carries a polishing stone around in his apron pocket. And the way I look at it, there's a need for both high tech and stone age when it comes to building things. You know, owning tools does not instantly make you a craftsman and you still can't buy your way into competency. <clears throat> Too many people focus on learning the tricks of the trade rather than learning the trade itself because learning the trade requires an enormous amount of patience and skill, stuff that modern people don't have in excess. So as guitar makers, we need to just give a shit about what we do. 
I don't see a need for 21 secret rules of tone, but I do care about what I do. Ask yourself this question. Can tomorrow you build better guitars than yesterday you could? If you're constantly growing and if you're constantly learning, then you're doing it right. If you're just going through the motions, regardless of the tools you're using, then you might as well be a monkey. When you care about what you do, real players are going to be able to tell the difference. As our friend Jim Fuller at Rifle Dynamics so succinctly put it, pride and craftsmanship gets people every time. This is Matt with Texas Toast Guitars reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's a good looking guitar. Just glued this Challenger up the other day. So white limba back, maple top, maple neck. Mm. This thing's gonna fucking rule. It's gonna be awesome. Actually, it's a really nice guitar. Maybe I'll keep this one for me.